Lee. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to watch The Last of Us. I haven't seen any of it. We, well, I think there's only two episodes out so far on HBO. I know it's sort of based on an old video game. So maybe not zombies, but infected also. But, and yeah, I know the premise is a guy takes a girl across the country in the middle of a, some kind of zombie apocalypse thing. So it sounds great. That sounds great to me. Um, let's watch it, man. Let's get into it. Like we know nothing, so there's nothing to talk about. This one is called Episode One: When You're Lost in the Darkness. Also, I believe this first episode looks like it's a hundred, a hundred, one hour and twenty-seven minutes. But that might be including credits and stuff. But still, I think it's extra long, so I might have to break it into two. Like I, you know, for. For my own sanity. All right, let's get going. And that's your biggest worry? Yes, any kind of virus, but most probably something similar to influenza. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. There's a fungus that infects insects, gets inside an ant, for example, bending the ant's mind to its will. Like a puppeteer with a marionette, but it doesn't let its victim die, no. It it keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. True, fungi cannot survive if its host's internal temperature is over 94 degrees. What if, for instance, the world were to get slightly warmer? Now, there is reason to evolve. One gene mutates, and an Ascomycetia, Candida, Ergot. So any one of them could become capable of burrowing into our brains billions of puppets with poisoned minds permanently fixed on one unifying goal to spread the infection to every last human alive wow goodness. that's a cool premise there are no treatments for this no preventatives no cures that was 1968 that was the year i was born we lose ostensibly fictionally got a good fungus intro turns out he's right it sounds looks like that's a really cool premise for a a zombie infected kind of film I like the plausibility that they gave it right from the outset there's a great documentary called the kingdom about funguses about the fungus being this whole separate kingdom it's very fascinating highly recommended it recommend it 2003 Where's the pancake mix? I'm gonna make you birthday pancakes. You know, I don't really like pancakes. <laughs> no, you don't like them. It's for my benefit. That's gonna make you. <laughs> Even though you don't like them. Can you get your uh, homework done? Fractions? <laughs> Is there enough for Uncle Tommy? In the water, man. Still alive, you old fucker. No, he loves you. He's dependent on me. Not the same. I think it's the same. It's definitely the same. <laughs> I think it's the same. <laughs> I'm not splitting this job. I barely want to split it with you. We could work a double. Literally? Today? I oh, know. I'd be done by nine. By nine, right? I'll bring back a cake. I promise. Jakarta. Where is that? Middle East? It's definitely a country. Maybe part of Asia? Jakarta isn't a country. Being a part of Asia isn't mutually exclusive with being a country. And in fact, the capital of Indonesia. Country. <laughs> <laughs> Being part of Asia right. isn't mutually exclusive to being a country. Drop you off. I'm still eating my eggshells. You got seven minutes. Your t-shirt's inside out. They're a cute little family. They're funny together. A part of Asia is not mutually exclusive of being a country. That's extremely funny. They're like morons. She's the smart one, apparently. Better take that. Given the premise of the show, that Connie was asking after you. I think you haven't been over in a while. I'll make him happy. I could come by after school. We got a lot of extra here. Y'all want some biscuits? You love biscuits. Oh, shit. I do. But I'm on Atkins. Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. I'll tell you all about Atkins. 
Tell you how exciting it was listening to that fucking conversation. Put that out. Happy birthday to you. Come on, vets. Homework is due. End of class tomorrow. End of class? You have people working on their homework during class. Seems like a bad idea. Let's see if we can see any clues to the incoming apocalypse, which we're pretty sure is part of this show. 20. That's it? Okay, 30. 20's good. It's a spring. I'll do it right now. All day, I swear. We're closing. We're done for today. It's 3.15. We close at 7. I'm very sorry. He cannot finish. I'm already finished. You should go home. Whoa, fuck. Something's happening. There you are, sweet. Sorry. I was getting worried. Hi, Mercy. Hey, is everything okay? Like, on the news? Oh, there was just a lot of police and stuff on the road today. Oh, well, that's true every day, isn't it? Three nails plus one cross equals four given. Ah. I was thinking we'd make some cookies. Taco chip? I never heard that before. What kind? She's got fungus cookies. I don't know why I talked to her. I just completely think. <laughs> wow. I really I like this show a lot so far. <laughs> oh, shit. That was fucking freaky. Hey, Mrs. Adler, can I borrow this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. It's one of Danny's. My dad's gonna be back real soon. I should go. You're taking some cookies. That was fucking freaky. What's gonna happen? Jesus. That was fucking good. You best go turn on the TV, girl. See what's going down. Where's the cake? Shit. Come on, man. I'll get this one tomorrow. I swear, you don't get your present. You got me a present? Well. Fix it for you. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> that was lame. Yeah. You're lame. Yeah, I know. Where'd you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. <laughs> it was only $20, which I stole from you. I could have stolen 60 but I put the change back because I'm an honest thief. Mm. Besides, it's a thought that counts. And you were never going to do it for yourself. Thank you. Borrowed from the Adlers. Oh, this is the one with the deleted scenes. Yeah. Imagine how bad those have to be. Come on, pop it in. Let's do your birthday. Don't fall asleep. Of course I won't. It's too riveting. Oh, it's me. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah? God damn it, Tommy. I'm sorry. Okay. Fucking idiot. Wow. That seemed really realistic. He's got to go do that shit on his birthday. <laughs> Terrible. That was his brother, right? That we just saw. They're doing a lot of clock. Showing the time a lot. Here we go again. Two. What the fuck? He's not going to be there. She's not going to know why. Dad? Law enforcement and emergency services are in the area and will be in contact with further instructions. <laughs> Stay indoors. Law the dog's that scared? That's weird. Dog's saying, don't go out there. Come on, let's get you home. There's fuck. Mercy! Like, fuck that. I'm not going in that house. Mrs. Adler? This is scary. What the hell? Scary! Mrs. Adler? <laughs> that dog fighting her not to go inside was freaky. Oh, look. She's got the collar. Pulled out of his own collar. You best get back in your own house, girl. Mrs. Adler?
Lee. Get the truck right now. What are we doing, Joe? She's like, what? We killed her. Baby, I'm sorry. It's not just the Adlers. We're gonna be brave, and we're gonna get out of this. Let's go, come on. What was that? Denise, you get back inside the house! Daddy. We don't know. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. Is it from terrorists? We don't know. Are we sick? No, of course not. How do you know we're not sick? They're saying it's mostly people in the city. That's why they got the highway blocked off. Damn! It's Jimmy's place. Jimmy had a fucking nice house. No. Got a kid, Joe. So do we. Keep driving. We could do the back. Somebody else will come along. Man, this is fucking crazy. Mark! Everybody had the same fucking idea. Alright, take the field. We cut across and we pick up on the on the west side. Yeah. Alright, hang on. At least I got a big boy truck. Shit. Fucking army. Isn't that good? It's good for them, but that's the highway we're trying to get to. Alright, keep moving, head north. Could be a lot of people. We can't go south, we can't go east, we can't go west. Hell else are we supposed to go? Tommy, come on! This can work. Yeah, but then what? I don't know. Mexico. Just far. How much gas? Three quarter tank. We go through town. Go of course by the river straight across. We pick up the highway on the other side of the blockade. And then we're out. They didn't grab nothing from their house. I guess they're they must know it's such big emergency that you can't Maybe it's everywhere. Maybe there's nowhere to go. She's got a point, fellas. What the fuck? Damn. That's freaky. I can't drive through them. Are you serious? Just keep going. Back, 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 back. Dad? Holy. Holy fuck. God damn. That was crazy. Uh, stay right there. Don't move. Tommy, you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. They need their truck, dude. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? My ankle. We gotta get off the street! God damn, good thing they got out of there. Head of the river, I'll find a way. Get her out of here, Joe. Go! We can't leave him. He'll be fine. Can you run? No. Keep your eyes on me. Why isn't he going with them? No. You gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> Dude. You're safe. Don't move. My daughter's hurt. Her ankle. Stop right there. Okay. Easy now. We're not sick. I got two civilians by the river. What about Uncle Tommy? We need to get somewhere safe first. Don't go back for him, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, repeat. I'm gonna say kill, kill him? We're not sick. We are not sick! I'm sorry. Please stop. What's the point of just killing a guy and his daughter? Technically not sick. You're okay. You're okay. Move your hand, baby. Move your hand. Jesus. I know, I know, I know, I know, baby. I know, I know. I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay. Baby, listen to me. I gotta get you up, okay? I gotta get you up. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Tommy, help me! Joe. Tommy. Come She looks dead. Does she die? 20 years later? Damn. Is she not going to be in the show no more? I really liked her. I thought she was going to be the girl. Apparently not. Though. She'd now be 35. Is that the girl that was in Walking Dead? The crazy one? Dude, look at fucking Boston. 
This is rad. I like anything post-apocalyptic like this. I love. And it looks like they're going to do a really cool job. It's sort of my fantasy to live in a post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> Although, not to be fucked. No, that's not who I thought it was, but kind of looks like her. I'm thinking of the crazy girl that Carol had to kill in Walking Dead. The one that liked zombies. What's your name? Are you alone? And uh, how did you get this? It's gonna be a little tickle right here. What if I told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're gonna find you your favorite food to eat? Would you like that? And then we'll get you some new clothes and toys, as many as you want to play with. Until they're actually gonna kill her? It's just a little needle. It's okay. You're safe. If that was like a way to kill her, this show is not pulling any punches. Well, this show isn't pulling any punches anyway. Man, this show's intense. Oh, is that what's his face? Cancer. Jesus. Nope, it's not pulling punches. It's his job is to burn bodies. You got anything else? Tomorrow we got street sweeping or sewer maintenance. Which pays more? That'd be the one with the shit. <laughs> Lake crew, 4 p.m. start. Got a Gore Lieberman shirt on. That was a trip. All right, so his daughter died right there. We're guessing. This is not cool. Come on. Or I could just shoot you. Yeah, but then what would you do? You're short five. Foxy? Hydro. How old? Three months. From Atlanta? I don't know where he gets them from. I just know they're real. It's real. It's from Atlanta. I just got a factory down there in the QZ. It supposedly only makes two things. Pills and bullets. The more you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. Oh, you guess. How are we doing with the vehicle? All set. About to get one last guy in the depot to buy in. Those trucks are shit heaped for a reason. And they don't have any batteries. I know. I can see about 200 for the other guys. 200 for you. Deal. Do yourself a favor. Stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fucking fireflies been blowing shit up all week. Fireflies? Those guys are jumpy and tired. It's easy to make a mistake in the dark. Stay safe. Yeah, you too.